So Katrina, one of the first things I want to show you here about RoofSnap, specifically on your iOS, mm -hmm. is the project map. Okay. When I tap on this, those eight sample projects that we've preloaded into the account, they're going to show up here as pins Wonderful. right in this project map. This is really convenient uh, for when you're canvassing a neighborhood mm -hmm. or you're, you're tracking projects geographically. So, for example, if I was in this little neighborhood right over here and I was going down the streets, you know, the, the, the neighborhood with all the hail damage, right. I wanted to make sure I got every house. Um, we would be able to see pins on all the ones where we've created projects here in RoofSnap. Wonderful. Um, additionally, if you're in a neighborhood and you press and hold on any house, mm -hmm. it's going to pull that address for you up automatically and allow you to go ahead and create a project right here from within this project map. Ideal. This is most convenient when you're um, in your truck and you don't necessarily know the address of the house right in front of you. Maybe you can't see the side of the mailbox or wherever that you know street number might be. Mm -hmm. So just press and hold right on the roof to drop that pin and it's going to grab the address for you. Wonderful. Now you don't necessarily have to use the project map in order to start your first project here. You could go back to the main screen and actually tap right on the start new project tile. Great, so if we're not on site, maybe we're in the office the night before. Yep, absolutely. So this is convenient when you're not right there. You can go in and give the project a name. I'm just gonna call it Sample, since this is a sample project for our customers. Great. And the office, well, when you first sign up, you just have one sample office. So you're not gonna have to worry about changing that office until you create additional offices in your account. Mm -hmm. You may have an office for residential and a separate office for commercial. Okay. You may have one office for storm work and another office for standard cash jobs. Gotcha. So don't worry about office unless you get to a place where you have multiple offices. Then you're gonna go ahead and put in the customer's name. Let's just call him John. And Katrina, do you have an address for me that I could put in here? Yeah, let's try 3734 Montclair Drive. And we'll put in the zip as well. The more information we put in, the more accurate the results when it geocodes the address. Wonderful. So once we've got the address in, I'll scroll down because there are fields for billing information mm -hmm. and even additional fields for insurance details down here at the bottom. So you can add as much information to the project as you need to. Great. From here, I'm just going to go ahead and click on the Done button. And that brings us into the project screen. So those are the two ways that you can create a project here in RoofSnap on your iPad.